Hello, collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. It's Miss Kelly coming to you with your what you need to know. Thank you so much for your love, support, your likes, your shares, your subs. They're greatly appreciated. If you are new, welcome. I will soon be starting to implement some new things. Just been trying to get my little schedule together. Okay. Mission abandonment. Intuition. All right. So... It's looking like somebody here is having some sort of um, hmm, okay, so harmony. Clinical observation. Someone could be feeling like collective, like you're avoiding them. Somebody's feeling abandoned and they feel as though you're unbothered. You could feel like this person could be a trickster. Or they could feel like the reason that you're not, uh, that you're avoiding them is because you're doing something sneaky. Someone feels trapped. They could know that intuitively you know quite a bit. Yeah, honey. Thinking of you and praying. So somebody wants you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody that you could have turned your back on. Okay. Um, ooh. This is not a new love. This is old love. Unbothered. <laughs> Abandoned, unbothered, and tricky. Okay. This could be some of you. This person could be a musician. Alright. Uh, intuition trapped. It's always stuck in their head. Intuition trapped. So... Somebody could be anxious because you see the real them, okay? They can't hide who they are with you, all right? So this person, I feel like you had this person kind of on edge. Harmony and thinking of you. Her and the real world. Hmm. Okay. So somebody is really thinking about you hard. All right, um, they could be wanting to send you some sort of text message, but then they never send it. Uh, you could have this person a little, little scared collective. They could be a little scared. Hold on, I see a card here. What's this? Oh, keeping your secret. How does that go on to this? That could be part of the trickery. So you could be doing to musician. Or well, this person just gets some sort of inspiration by thinking about you. Oh, okay. Observation avoidance. New love reverse. Nine of Cups. Somebody feels like that you ghosted them. Uh, Gemini. Oh, I said Gemini. My bad. Did a Gemini ghost somebody here? 
There could be a Taurus doing some sort of introspection. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, collector. I said Gemini for a reason, though. Must be a reason. I don't see Gemini's energy out here yet. Other than this avoidance, maybe. That's like my Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles, the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus here. So somebody could be very happy with a look at a son or a child or something. This is not a new person though. Ace of Cups in reverse. So somebody here could have not made some sort of could have avoided uh possibly a relationship or a connection in the past because they were already connected to someone yeah could have been dealing with uh and i said gemini gemini taurus cusper so some of y'all could be dealing with uh uh oh sorry taurus gemini cusper okay i ain't make the shit up so somebody here could have definitely already been in something. That's why they could not make you some sort of an offer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they were very avoidant when it came to emotion. All right. Uh, when it came to thinking about a future. This could have been someone who slow walked you. This could have been someone who they thought because they were giving you money or something here. Uh, and that's weird because I just made that mention of a scenario like that in the Gemini reading. So, all right, some of you, this could resonate for a Gemini out there. All right. Oh. Give me unbothered trickery abandonment. The fool. Could be dealing with an Aquarius Aries as well. Mm. I don't like how it came out. Okay. Three of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Somebody I do feel like wants to show you, like, okay, I just heard they want to. Get their feet wet uh when it comes to emotions they want to take a new beginning they want to try something okay with you all right we have the world here hermit and the knight of wands with the king of wands hmm huh. Some of you, you may have a new opportunity, some sort of new contract or working with someone uh, where you may have to travel. Okay, there's a new opportunity coming in. That's a sidebar. Father Herman in the Night of Wands. Thank you. Chariot. <coughs> I feel like somebody could as well be, uh, you could have been enlightened or found out about something about a fire sign and a cancer. Uh, somebody could be watching you as well. Could have found out that these people were sleeping together. Uh, and you're unbothered. <laughs> okay. I don't know if these people wanted you to feel some sort of like abandonment about it or whatever. But, yeah. There could be a fire sign. Uh, somebody in your family that could possibly reach out to you. Send you some sort of message.
Okay, what is this? Somebody that you put your lid on your on your emotions for. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is dry. We have King Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Love is reverse. I'm also getting this energy of somebody's just trying to find out something. What are they trying to find out? What is this page of swords? If somebody is okay so somebody is worried that somebody here is either dealing with a third party or something here what is this two cups in reverse whoever this is this could be someone that they yeah you had to stand your ground with someone um, somebody here may not believe in relationships, okay? So, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, well, they could have just gone through a breakup. So, right now, they're just kind of like in this celebratory type energy or something here. Um, but I am getting somebody could have just gone through a breakup, especially with the Three of Swords, okay? And then we have the Magician here. Eight of Wands. Somebody could be telling you that they've moved out of somewhere or that they're divorced or something is, yeah. Four of Wands reverse. So you could be saying 44 could be significant. Okay. What is a little heartbroken that they missed some sort of opportunity here? Um. Somebody could feel like they missed out on the opportunity to really build a foundation with someone. Somebody here could be coming into some sort of finances here as well as what I'm saying. Yeah, the temperance here. Oh, interesting. The temperance, the devil, and the high priestess. And then we have this king of wands. Give me something on this. High Priestess, the Devil, and the Temperance. Gambling, yeah, taking a chance. Ghost to disappearing. Thank you. in the reverse hurting the ex lover yeah somebody is really regretting something that they've done here um Regretting, or just hurting, agonizing pain. Okay, that's a lot. All right, somebody can have like a secret past that they could be trying to escape from. Oh, 
somebody can feel like only one person is taking uh, responsibility for the breakdown of the connection. Okay. Somebody could have been very demanding, roaming eyes, but didn't take your feelings in consideration or not being, um, yeah, and all talk. Somebody was all talk, no action. Thinking that shit was a game. It was a joke. They could juggle you. They could play with you. Play with your emotions. Play with your feelings. Something is a little too little too late, though, I feel, with this energy. Yeah, this is someone who will try to sell you some sort of false hope or something here. Your actions never... Yeah, someone is not committed. Incompatible, conflicted. Like I said, if you could be just feeling like somebody here is all talk. Yep. Came right back out. Mmm. So for some of you, this could be a reflection of something that's going on within you internally as well. Collecting. Somebody here could be a show off. Controlling. Used to be right. To be possessive, jealous. Somebody could be uh, kind of sneaky, deceitful, okay? Yeah. So you could have felt like you were all alone or by yourself when you was with this person. Could have felt like as well um, that this person was a bit two-faced. Could have, you could feel like you had mixed emotions about this situation and this person because it wasn't all bad, okay? You did share some good moments with this person, all right? So, it's just, it's complicated. Lots of twists and turns. Naughty situations, precarious. With somebody in here is definitely, could be very childish in the way that they do things. Like, they will hold things back or hold things in until they explode. Somebody could be uh, worried about their public image. All right. Somebody could be saying that somebody here is self-serving. That all they think about is themselves. They just want money. But emotionally, they're closed off. All right. So, I'm just saying here that based off of whatever happened between you two, it's like pretty much... Somebody here is really, like, thinking about someone and wanting uh, wanting to apologize. Someone wants to apologize to you, okay, uh, and make you some sort of offer here. But I do feel like there could still be some work that needs to be done. Somebody really, somebody cares about you a lot, though. I just feel like somebody needed to do a lot of healing. Somebody could have thought they were going to keep you in some sort of secret. This would be someone that you were intimate with. This person was a player here. Okay. regretting having you to compete or trying to make you the other woman. Somebody is going through some sort of legal issue right now. sort of phone call. Some of you, this person may want to marry you. If 
there was an interference, there no longer is. Okay, somebody wants you to know that there's no longer anything getting in you all the way. This is what I'm taking from that. I do feel like this person may regret not taking your 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 feelings and your love for them, you know, in a more serious manner. You and somebody, they want to talk to you, but y'all are not in communication. And the reason that I say that, this car fell on the floor and it fell in the reverse when it was in the upright. So somebody is like, they're typing out text messages, but they're not sending them. You might have to take action. Whoever this is, they're not taking any action. And someone is feeling quite out of sorts about you. They miss you a lot, collective. They're really going through some sort of pain and they're really sitting with themselves. You and this person could have really bonded over you all's intimate moments. Okay. But someone is hell bent on wanting to prove to you that there is no third party. I feel like at one point in time where they didn't really care, you know, how <clears throat> how you saw it, no. They want you to know concrete that there's no third party. Okay. That whatever happened between you two in the past, they want that to be that. It's up to you, though. Collective. And this was at the bottom facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. So, I don't know. Depending on who this person is and if they're coming back, make sure it's just for the right intentions. All right. They have the right intentions. Give me some character cards, please. to Kim. Age range 27 to 45. A man. All right. Somebody could like to wear suits. Like I have blonde hair. Like like to wear glasses. Somebody here can have a pointed nose. I want to put that back though. So. Any other features? Oh, this is someone that's powerful. So this could be someone with some sort of status here. Okay. We have baby face. This somebody to look younger than what they actually are. We have bald and somebody here could have blue eyes. And one more, please and thank you. Somebody could like to wear black clothing. One more, please. Like I have green eyes. Oh wow. 
fluffy hair. There's the one in here that have really poofy hair. It's a dark card. You may not be able to see it too well. Um, somebody here could be petite with dimples. And somebody here could be pregnant. Okay. Somebody could have a scar across their face. Somebody here could also have freckles. And to be very fashionable, all right, as far as their streetwear, clothes, somebody here for wear glasses, all right, so somebody could be very fashionable. Again, we have green eyes, and somebody here could have a beard. You are so attractive. I find it hard to control myself around you. I told you, you are someone y'all bonded a lot over intimacy. I have a funny feeling things are not over between us. Can we just start over a clean slate so I can do things right this time? I think about what it would be like to take a vacation and travel with you. I've been talking to my friends about the best way to reapproach you. Uh, you warned me this would happen. I wish I could go back in time. I feel like I'm going crazy. I need to see you again. I stayed in a toxic connection longer than I should have. And then we have, I just want what's best for both of us. I haven't reached out because you look happy and I don't want to disrupt your life. I wish you'd open up to me more about what you're feeling so they feel like you've closed yourself off collective. You've closed yourself off. They feel like they don't have any way to like access your emotions to know, you know, what it is that you're feeling about them, about the situation. They don't know what's going on right now um i mean it's kind of like they put themselves in this right collective they can't be mad at you they kind of did it to themselves Up though, you know, so they no longer they don't want to play around anymore. They don't want to play around anymore. Give me a couple of naked troops for my collective, please. You are so smart, you have me figured out. So, oh, this person at one point in time thought they were running game, they wasn't playing anybody but themselves. All right. <laughs> Um, I miss your voice, your laugh, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. So, hmm, interesting. I know Jim and I had that energy yesterday, I believe. <coughs> I was hiding my true feelings from you because I was scared of commitment and I didn't want to lose my freedom. What did I tell you? Somebody here could have definitely at one point in time they didn't believe in relationships until you. I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. I don't care what other people think anymore. I've been given I've been given bad advice. I'm listening to my intuition. I know you are the one. It was easier to lie to you than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all back. I'm not happy in my current situation. I'm miserable without you. I couldn't give to you like I wanted because I'm still healing from my past. Yeah. 
I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. And at the bottom, I didn't think you would walk away. So this person, yeah. And I say they thought they played, they thought they was playing games, but then played themselves out. I hate that I hurt you. You don't deserve, you didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault. I keep looking at your pics. <laughs> now this person likes looking at whatever memorabilia they have of you. Okay. Somebody wants a clean slate. Can y'all start over? They're trying to get advice, you know. Um, somebody could have stayed in a relationship longer than they should have. And they know they should have left. <coughs> but, excuse me, maybe they were comfortable where they were. You know, it felt familiar. And they didn't want to rock the boat. But, you know, that tower hit. They had no choice but to, you know, um, to address everything in their life. You know, that they were trying to possibly avoid. That could have been that avoidance as well. Them trying to avoid the inevitable. You know, it wasn't built on a firm foundation in the beginning in the first place. So, you know. It had to come down. So I hope these messages helped my collective. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see you all, my loves, in the next one. Peace.